back to my channel. I am getting ready to go to the grocery store to grab a few things. I only need a couple things because I did a really big grocery run like a week ago. And so, yeah, this is a rather short grocery trip, but I did indeed get ready for it. There's that Bow and Tea onesie unitard. And then I have on this big flannel button up from H&M. Lululemon, um, what do you call these again? Fanny pack, it's called the belt bag. And then I have on these Ray-Bans. Now these, these are solely a prop, okay? I don't wear sunglasses, but I do have two pairs of Ray-Bans for some reason. Gold jewelry, my white Karachis that I cleaned a week ago. They're not flexible. I was looking at my collar like this and you know, I may indeed look like a hot mess, but emphasis on hot, okay? Emphasis on hot. <laughs> a really quick thing that I wanted to share with you all is each first of the month, each month on the first of the month, I like to sit down with my budget and just go over like my budgeting for the month prior, how I did, what I, spent lots of money towards and so last month in the months prior to even then I realized that I spent quite a lot of money on groceries so besides rent I'd say most of my money goes towards groceries but the more I thought about it the more I thought about how I love buying high quality groceries you know I rarely buy junk food so the groceries that I do buy are extremely high quality, have good ingredients, organic, and you know, I would say that's definitely my form of experiencing luxury in a sense because this is something that I'm literally putting in my body and I do care about my body externally, internally, how I feel, my mood, how I'm moving, such like that. Food does have a large impact on that overall. So the food that I do buy and invest in is high quality stuff and as you guys know, high quality groceries, organic groceries is not really affordable and it's expensive, I will say, but Trader Joe's, honestly has probably the most affordable organic products. If you're looking to switch out all your vegetables or to start eating organic vegetables, Trader Joe's definitely has affordable organic vegetables if you're interested in that. But anyways, I was sitting down with my budget and I was like, wow, I spend a lot of money towards groceries, you know? That's where my money mostly goes towards. And as you guys know, I do cook in my apartment i rarely eat out so i was like you know the groceries that i intake isn't necessarily like it's not junk food whatsoever it's not processed foods and it's high quality organic food so that's completely okay so it had me thinking again about i mentioned this but how i choose to experience luxury you know i may not have a chanel bag or a gucci bag which would be nice to own eventually in my life but but I'll tell you what I do have. I do have organic vegetables, you know, and that's my form of luxury. And then it also had me thinking about how we often judge other people on how they choose to experience luxury, whether it's money oriented, something that's materialistic, whether it's, you know, going on a trip to somewhere to experience something and how, yeah, we often judge where people or how people choose to experience luxury and how that's ultimately none of our business, how someone else chooses to live or spend out or experience their form of luxury. Who are we to judge necessarily? But I will say here first, you heard it here first. I choose to experience luxury in the form of groceries, you know? Although I do hope I can get to a point in my life where I can buy Gucci bags, Chanel bags, such like that without feeling guilty you know, um, another form of luxury for me is Lululemon. I do spend quite a lot of money at Lululemon. You guys know that, but I'm in the space right now where, you know, I don't mind buying Lululemon. I want to experience the luxury of having Lululemon, but it's not Gucci. It's not Gucci, but it's okay. It's very much okay. But yeah, don't judge people on how they choose. Why do I keep doing this? 
don't judge people on how they choose to experience their form of luxury just wanted to share that but yeah oh did i show you guys this no so <laughs> as i said i do sit down with my budget each month first of the month just to see how I did the month prior to see where my money goes mostly towards but this month is the first month that I'm actually doing this so I have a June spending focus but I have a June spending envelope it says it on there there we go now it's focusing and in it is a note card and so anything outside of groceries and bills will be written on this handy dandy note card if I can pull it out. Goodness gracious. Um, on this note card, you know? So my random Target trips that I like to do some days. You know, <laughs> all of those items that are random that I don't need are definitely gonna be written on here. And you know, this is to make me feel very guilty. You know, because I do spend a lot of money sometimes on pointless things, things that I don't necessarily need, but I want. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with me treating myself, because I do do that. I do. But I will say, I just want to be more intentional with my spending, and I feel like my savings can get bigger and be influenced by that sort of thinking. It's hard being a hottie. It's really hard. You know, my back is hurting from carrying all this haughtiness. Just gonna show you guys what I got really quick. First from Whole Foods. It's not a lot of stuff, but just wanted to show you really quick. So, this chocolate brand, Hue, my favorite kind. If you're looking for like a clean chocolate bar or just a company that makes amazing products with clean ingredients, definitely give Hue a try. Back to human, get back to human. These are their chocolate covered hunks, almonds and sea salt, vegan, organic and paleo, no refined sugar. But they make crackers too and their crackers are yummy. I also got milk because I needed milk almond milk specifically um, what else did I, I also found the go macro bars that i like i've been looking for like a clean protein bar of some sort which is rare to find and this is the cleanest i can find um it's a go macro bar this is the mocha chocolate chip flavor and then and then I also got another huge chocolate bar. This is their Almond Crunch Dark Chocolate. Organic, 70% cacao, vegan paleo, no refined sugars. Definitely give that a try. If you're looking for a clean chocolate, what else is in here? Another milk. Ooh. And then I also got organic. Sorry if this is a very sloppy clip, but I also got organic. <laughs> sourdough bread this is the brand Rudy's which I haven't tried but I saw it in like the ingredients and then I got some organic frosted flakes cereal big time cereal girl and some eggs some pasteurized eggs I got two more of the go macro bars this is a lemon flavored one which I haven't tried before and a blissful blueberry daybreak blueberry and cashew butter one so that one sounded super yummy now for the stuff that i got from trader joe's oatmeal chicken i got this lemonade for reed it's like a spicy mango lemonade because it made me think of him when i got it and then lots of these shots ginger and turmeric shots okay i will see you guys back at the house I'm giving very much over caffeinated 15 year old vibes right now, which is rather unfortunate seeing how I'm not 15 and seeing how I didn't consume caffeine today, but it's okay. I just whipped up something quick to eat. So we have a sausage, a breakfast. This is gonna sound disgusting, okay? But I'm, I'm known to do some random concoctions. And so sausage, tuna, three eggs. 54 grams of protein right there. There you go. I'm currently watching Stranger Things. I finished Outlander. I don't know if I told you guys that I was watching Outlander. That is officially my favorite show. Love it. If you haven't watched it, definitely give it a watch. I, when I tell you I love it, like that was the freaking show 
that when I went in office to work, I would rush home to watch that show on Netflix. And they only have up to five seasons on Netflix and I guess they just got renewed for a seventh season. All their episodes are on Stars. Stars, yeah. But I already have all those subscriptions and I don't feel like adding that one to it. So I guess I'll just wait until it comes out on Netflix. Oh, it's so good. I'd highly recommend. If you guys love me, well, lo love is an intense word, you know? I, yeah, that's an intense word. If you guys hate me, that's an intense word also. If you guys enjoy watching me, definitely give Outlander a try. It's so good. Wait until you get into like probably the 15 minutes into the first episode. It's so good. I'm so glad that I gave it a chance. It's so good. It's like clinching good crying good i cried when i watched it and i'm not a crier but but for outlander <laughs> apparently i'm a crier so definitely give it a watch but currently i'm watching stranger things which i guess they have a part one part two of the new season that came out season five and i'm on episode seven so i'm just gonna finish episode seven because i didn't finish it last night which is unfortunate that it ends after this until they come out with part two apparently yeah it's unfortunate but all american has a new season up on netflix also so that's out which is super exciting so there's that okay just getting ready to put together a jewelry concoction but firstly i have to show you guys this new ice tray that i got from Amazon. They're little balls, which I think is extremely cool, and it comes with like this ice chest. You guys are gonna watch me break this one apart to put it in there. So basically, you get two trays like this. Want to tell the people how it is? Yes, this is my official review of the Trader Joe's Spicy Mango Lemonade. And it is spicy because of uh, jalapenos and cayenne pepper. I think it's very refreshing. It's nice. It has a nice, sweet first taste and then a little bit of a spice. It's not like spicy, spicy. Um, but yeah, it's very unique. Tastes good. Give it a try. <laughs> Look how nice this toaster is. Look how nice that man is. Wait, you matched the toaster. Can you show us the coffee pot? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. And a new coffee pot. That's so aesthetic. Wow. <laughs> I am pretty exhausted gonna go ahead and close out the vlog right here if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe like and comment and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching